Okay, in today's product review, we're going to be looking at the Bradford sound screen insulation. I'm also going to show you the installation method of how this goes in and what you need to go about that. We're also going to show you a pretty cool time lapse video of the product being installed over a couple of hour period here at the Small Space Big Build project. And while that's taking place, I'll also discuss some of the features of the product as well. Okay, so to start with, you can see Kev here putting the product in. All you really need to do this insulation is a set of gloves and a nice sharp Stanley knife. Now one thing you want to make sure of is that the insulation, the full piece, is pushed right up against any surface, nice and tight against both edges, and that the piece you're cutting in is also nice and tight as well too. You don't want any air gaps around it. Now to ensure that, you'll find that most spacings are joists are either at 450 centres or 600 centres. So these bats come in both sizes. For the 450 centres, you'll get the bats that are 430, so they're just a little bit smaller, so they should just fit in nice and snugly. And same for the 600 centres, I think you get a 580 wide bat, so again, they'll just fit in nice and snug. So anyone can do this, you don't have to be highly skilled, it's really just a matter of making sure that there are no air gaps at all when it's being put in. The bat we've chosen to go with has an R2 value on it. You can actually get up to, I think, an R3 or an R3.1 value. So what that means, the higher the R value, the better insulation uh, properties it has, better thermal insulation properties, I should say. Um, the reason we've gone for the R2 is because the simple fact that we've already got R3 insulation throughout our ceilings below. So we're, the main purpose of this bat for us is really just for the acoustic value. I don't want any noise transmission between the two floors. And that's really the biggest thing you want to look at when you're doing any two-storey uh, renovation or even a new build is that you put a good quality acoustic insulation between the ceiling. That's one thing that a lot of people overlook and you live to regret it later because if you've got floorboards up above and someone's walking through you're going to hear that noise of them walking clear as day if you don't have a good insulation in the ceiling. So this product can be used in walls and floors. We're only going to be using it in through the floor at this stage just because once our sheeting goes over, we won't have access to get in there to put it on at a later date. Because we're keeping the existing ceilings down below, we need to put this in prior to the floor sheeting going in. So that's one thing you need to consider when you're doing this type of renovation. All in all, it's a great little product, easy to install. Look, it does cost a, a little bit extra, so you want to make sure you factor that into your budget. One thing I'd recommend if you are renovating is that you do speak to the guys at CSR get onto someone at their technical department and they can discuss with you what's going to be best, what's going to be the best bat for your situation. Because you want to make sure that you do get a little bit of thermal properties out of it for heating and cooling, but also you are getting a bat that's got a good acoustic value that's going to stop that noise transmission between the floors.